really like the lips. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am creating this look using a bunch of new makeup. Using some makeup that I've been trying for a week now and I want to give you my final thoughts on it and some of them are a first impression. So for today's video, we are using the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, the Fenty Beauty Concealer and the Loose Setting Powder. I've been using these for a week actually, so I can tell you what I think of it. A new blush from Buxom and the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Eyeshadow Palette uh, on top of our things and a nice Ofra liquid lipstick that I got in my BoxyCharm. If you want to see how to create this look and what I think of these new products, please keep on watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, ring that little bell down here so you don't miss out on any new video coming. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so to prep my skin, I already put some of my Drunk Elephant Marula Oil. I'm just gonna put a little bit of the Seferma Day Serum. I can finally film, I'm so happy because I tried for the first time the Rodial uh, Retinol Drops and oh my, I don't know if I put too much or if it's just what retinol does on my skin. I was peeling big time, it was not pretty finally stopped and now my skin looks beautiful beautiful and I truly have a feeling that the, the little lines that I start I started to have here like dissipated like they look fuller and well, even when I frown I also applied a little bit of the uh, Cora Organics Noni Radiant Eye Oil I've been using this for some time now like doesn't look like it but it's really good it's really pleasant and it really hydrates the under eye area i'm gonna use my drunk elephant i'm gonna stick to it uh, drunk elephant today apparently the proteiny polypeptide uh, cream have you tried retinol before and uh, how did your skin react to it did you peel at all i know it's very common to peel but i like to hear about your experience and what uh, kind of retinol you've tried before and what was the out outcome for you and for your skin. Something I didn't purchase but I asked a little sample at Sephora is the Farsali Skin Tune Blur. So you know everybody's using like those drops, like uh, the unicorn drops or... I never bought that, never tried it. I saw Raw Beauty Christie using these ones. It's, it's in a green bottle and it, she said that apparently it really blurred her pores. So. I wanted to try it, hopefully it's not gonna break me out. I have a little white here, but it's healing. So it has that white glue consistency. You know, the glue when you're a kid. That smells like almond. <laughs> and I'm just going to rub it around my nose, on my nose. It smells good. Well, I have First impression right now, I really have a feeling that it's blurring, especially in this area. Skin on my nose looks very smooth. I do have a feeling that it's blurring my skin. I'm gonna zoom in. It's interesting. For foundation, I'm going to use for the first time the Beauty Blender foundation, the Bounce foundation. I found the packaging really, really interesting. Well, quite innovative. You have a little lock at the back so it doesn't get messy if you travel. For those who are new, I have dry to normal skin, so we'll see if it works for me. I'm gonna do something now uh, but Beauty Blender will probably not appreciate. I'm gonna use my Real Technique sponge because this is my favorite sponge. And this one is the huge one, by the way. So let's see, they say to go straight on the dispenser with a sponge. I don't know if that's the best way to do it. But I'm gonna do a thin layer first. Wow, right off the bat, it has a lot of coverage. I didn't use much. Oh, that's actually the perfect shade for me. So this is one thin layer, half of the face. Coverage is nice, it covered my redness, for sure. And this still looks quite natural. 
Well, right now I'm quite impressed with the finish and I am impressed with those Farsali Skin Tune Blur drops because I really do feel it blur my pores. I'm not gonna put too much, I'm gonna stay with one layer because I really do think that it's enough if you want like a nice coverage but still like natural finish. I'm gonna do my eyebrows, I have nothing new and I'll be right back. So a little bit of YouTube magic. All right, so I use my Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. I'm going to use on camera the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. I'm in the shade 180. So I've tried this concealer for a week, every day. I like it if I put a very little amount uh, on days I'm not wearing like a full coverage makeup. Otherwise, if I tend to put a bit too much because I want more coverage, it looks really cakey, dry, and it looks like it's, well, it's creasing a lot. If I use only a little amount, there's not enough coverage. So I'm gonna use it. It looks really good and it will probably look really good on camera. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit first. Here, here. In the foundation, I am 260, and that this is 180. So I'm not sure what they're saying. The foundation for me, well, I have dry skin, so it's not the greatest. It's nice if I mix it with something else. Okay, I'm going to take my little Real Technique sponge. So a little goes a long way. First looks really good, but after a few minutes, if I want more coverage than that, it's creasing big time. A lot of people are raving about it, I know. So let's see with one layer. This is how it looks, but my preference is to have a bit more coverage and something a bit more brightening right here in that area. So I tend to want to add a bit more and this is where the problem is. If you add more, it is creasing. Sorry, I have a little bit of eyeliner left. All right, and here, this is what I like for coverage. Also from Fancy Beauty, I got the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Butter. And this powder I like. I've been using it for a week now and it looks really nice on the skin. It sets well the makeup. It doesn't look cakey. So it comes like this and I don't even know if you can see but there's like the FB for Fenty Beauty. Cute little detail. I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder brush and I'm gonna dust it lightly wherever I like to cancel the shine. I don't bake really under the eyes because it tends to really like cook my skin. I'm just gonna dust really lightly under the eyes and it's already starting to crease. I'm gonna show you right here. This, all right, here, a bit here what is left on my brush. And so this powder, I really enjoy it. Really, really, I love the packaging. It smells really good. It makes me think of a uh, Cordier Spawn powder, but way more subtle for the scent. So it is mattifying, but the skin still looks natural. For bronzer, I'm using my Marc Jacobs Fantastic. Omega Bronze. I'm gonna use that setting powder again to just do something a bit more precise here. I don't do that very often. I don't really like doing it today. So I'm just gonna take the flat side of my sponge. We are going to chisel all those cheeks. I'm gonna dust it off. For blush, I am using the new Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Seychelles. It has a very nice nude slash warm mauve. I don't know if you see what I mean with that, but 
has a little bit of shin in it super pretty so i'm using that with my bobby brown blush brush just a dot first it's very pretty it, it gives like a nice like shin to your skin very pretty so that is one layer I'm just going to show you see like it gives a nice little shin like very very pretty it really does look like you've been like sun kissed a little bit on the nose they had a lot of pretty colors but this one was the one i was the most attracted to for highlighter something i got in my ipsy bag a while ago actually that's the cover effects custom in answer drops in the shade moonlight i haven't used that for so long we'll see how it goes on top of powder just and i'm going to blend it with a dual fiber brush from sigma and that might have been a mistake okay with the finger oh you know what maybe with the sponge it would have been better and i think if you work on top of powder well you want to work fast might be almost a bit too light for me in between my eyes and i'm gonna go down just a tiny bit but not all along my nose if you have a cute little nose, sure you can do it, but I have a longer nose, so I don't want to um, attract the attention too much. And yeah, I'm not going to put too much here. Whatever is left on my finger, a bit on my lips. Pretty. It was probably, it would have been a better idea to do it before powder, but it, it still works. You know what, I'm going to use a little bit of lip balm because my lips look so so chapped so i'm gonna use the rodial rose gold lip balm reshape and regenerate so this is the packaging super pretty i got it in a little set with a hand cream the hand cream smells really good and let's see mm. feels really nice nice and oily not sticky at all it has a little shin in it feels nice on the lips all right, well, we're going to start with the eyes. I'm going to prime my eyelid with my NARS primer, Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, and this is in the shade Medium. And I'll be right back. All right, now we are going to play for the first time with the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. I'm so excited. I haven't played with it. I haven't swatched it even. This is how it looks like, so cute. And I love that she came up with like a nude one because these shades, you can take it to a trip and this is the perfect mini palette like to go. So these are the five shades of the mini nude palette. So pretty, the good basics, the shimmers, they look beautiful. So I haven't set my lid, I don't know if I should or not. You know what, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Fenty Beauty loose powder right there. Very quickly, very lightly. Because, well, I don't know if you saw my previous videos, I've been using that eye base, eyeshadow base from NARS. It's very nice, but it stays a bit tacky, so I don't want it to grip the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna start with a Sephora Pro Featherweight Crease Brush, number 38, 38. People don't understand when I say I'm 30. I'm 30 years old, they're like 40, 30. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with, oh, surprise, the shade Coin. Is it how you say it? Coin or Coin? This, and it looks like the perfect transition shade. Very pigmented, but very easy to blend. So I'm going a little bit higher in my crease because very often it's not high enough. So you can lift your chin and if it helps. Very often I find that I didn't go high enough in my crease. Place it a little bit in the inner corners too. This will be a really pretty shade all over the lid too, but because I want to play with the shimmer shades, 
I don't want to put too much in the center, but very, very pretty. I'm going to use the shade Soil, that nice brown one. And I'm going to place it, I'm going light first because I don't know how pigmented it's going to be in the outer corner. And you can build up the pigmentation very softly, which is nice, I appreciate that. And then let's go a bit in the crease with it. So far, the formula is really good. Very reminiscent of our um, bigger palettes. The colors are very, very pretty. I'm going to try to cheat a little bit because this lid is bigger than this one. This one, this is folding a bit more. So I'm just gonna drag it a bit lower on the lid. Try to mimic the other side. Go back to that brown. Diffuse it in the crease. Well, I really want to put on that, that Sienna shade. This looks so pretty. I'm going to start with, we're going to try to use all of them. You don't have to, obviously. I have as many looks you can do with a little palette. I'm going to put bronzage and I'm going to place it not exactly in the middle, but like more towards like the inner corner. And that is very pretty as well. Yeah, bronzage is very nice. Bronzage is the French word for tanning or tan. A nice tan? Oh, you have a nice tan? Oh, t'as un joli bronzage. A little bit of French lesson too, why not? And then in the center, I am going to use Sienna with my finger as well. Pretty. You can see the kind of a duochrome aspect maybe on my finger. Kind of want to add a bit more dimension with a bit more brown in the outer corner. Now I'm going to go to the lower lash line. I'm going to go to that matte nude shade, like the first one. That is a vintage cosmetic company brush, that one for the money brush. Yeah, guys, I'm really not a fan of that concealer. Too bad. I like it for little touch-ups on the face, like to hide blemishes, but under the eyes, for my skin type, doesn't work great. Really not great. And once again, I tried it for like more than a week now. Going to the dark brown with a smaller brush, BH Cosmetics 107. One, I'm actually gonna do that along my upper lashes. Not too much, but just a tiny bit. I think I'm gonna use um, a bit of that bronzage shade, mostly in the center. Okay, and for the inner corner of my eyes, I'm using the shade Lumino. I already applied some, camera did not record it. I'm going to wet the brush. I'm dragging it a little bit right here. Very pretty. I wonder if this will be pretty as a highlighter. Let's see, a little bit on the nose. That works. So I think I'm gonna leave the eyes here. Uh, I'm really excited about that little palette. I think this is such a pretty little tool you can take with you on a trip, a weekend. You don't have to use the shimmers if you don't want to. Super pretty, you can do something even uh, lighter, like just with this all over the lid, I'm sure it will be really really pretty quality is there it's blending really well it's pigmented buildable really really like it i have two options either the marc jacobs highliner and glitter bag so it's a nice like shimmery brown or 
we can do something a bit more fun with the Urban Decay main line color. I think I might do that. Like that look, that like bronze and green. I find it really, well, kind of like bluish green. Really, really appeals to me. So I'm gonna do that. Oh yeah. Of course, the dark brown would have looked really pretty, a bit more classic. I'm gonna smudge the green a bit. Pencil brush. Okay, hmm. I'm going to tight line a bit with a Pat McGrath Labs Extreme Black Perma Gel Ultra Glide on pencil. And I'm going to curl my lashes, put some Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, a little bit of Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I could lift my lips like that. I think it's pretty. I think I might want to try this. Or if I don't like it, I can just go with a nude on top. I got this in my Boxy Charm this month. And this is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Miami Feather. And it could look good. Or it could look too much. We're gonna see. That lip balm really helped my lips feel nice. Hydrated. A little bit plump too. I might have a Kylie cosmetics that is going too much that is the shade um, brown sugar very pigmented Ooh, look at that mouth looks huge i don't know if it's a lip balm before but kind of plumped my lip too my mouth but that is a pretty color like that rusty brown and i think it looks good with the eyes what do you think yeah i like it and that is the final look i really really like it i'm gonna start from the beginning well that blurring thing that i got like the little tester i got from uh farsali skin tune blur i really do think that it is blurring uh, my pores my nose looks perfect so if i don't react to that product i might get the full size then we have the beauty blender bounce foundation I really like the packaging. First I thought it was a bit gimmicky, but it dispenses not too much, so you don't waste product. I like to try it with a brush. It has a matte satiny finish. The coverage is beautiful. Like this was a perfect shade for me. I'll try to do a little check-in tonight when I come back from work to tell you how it went. But so far, I really really um uh, happy with the foundation i think it looks very pretty full coverage and i only put one layer of it so if i want even more coverage well i'll try it but this is way enough for me the concealer i don't like it under my eyes i've been trying it again and again different ways it creases so i'm gonna show you not only it doesn't brighten that much weirdly enough but it, it's creasing so already you can see like my pigmentation like like a little rosy like sh like picking through and yeah I don't like it I don't like it under my eyes I like it for a little touch up or to sculpt like in the center of the nose or a little touch up on blemishes under the eyes bronzer eyebrows it was not a first impression uh, the blush super super pretty and i think maybe i went a bit ham actually right there this is such where did i put it uh, packaging super cute and the color is so beautiful the formula is really really uh, pleasant I don't know what it means like primer infused blush it feels maybe the, the reason why they call it it feels like 
a cream to powder blush but in a powder formula really weird but it leaves a nice little shin to the skin it looks like skin uh, might be really pretty on top of your skin on days you don't want to wear foundation just a little bit of concealer uh, i'm sure it will be really pretty very very pigmented so you you want to be careful but um this shade seychelles beautiful uh, the highlighter the liquid highlighter well it's not new in the market but um uh it is beaming uh i would say it's better to put it maybe before your foundation like i use my uh charlotte tilbury uh, hollywood flawless uh, filter this one although this one looks really good on top of powder too this one is hard to blend uh, you have to work really really quickly well the natasha denona palette mini nude eyeshadow palette beautiful I already said that eyeshadow palette you can take it on a trip a weekend you can take it in your purse if you want to do a quick like glam look or you can do a day to evening look with it the formula is great it blends really well pigmented yeah not disappointed at all this shade that skinna is beautiful i'm gonna zoom you in to show you I have a feeling the camera doesn't do justice to Sienna right now. I'm going to show you with my little torch here. Look at that. How sparkly it is. And it's kind of a duochrome shade too. So really, really like that. I like the warmth uh, it gave to the look uh, with that bronzage shade too. The beautiful color range, like a beautiful color selection. And I really like that I used that mainline Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. Uh, this was a good idea, I think. It looks really, really pretty. And it just uh, complements uh, those uh, rusty, uh, bronzy shades very well. The mascara, it was in my favorite makeup of 2018 video. I love that Kush mascara. Oh, the powder, the finishing powder really really like it i think it's beautiful it, it, it doesn't look cakey it has a, ten, a tendency to help blurring your pores and it mattifies but in a nice way like it still looks like skin um okay the little lip balm was actually really nice from rodial the rose gold lip balm it works nicely like it really helped rehydrating my lips and i had some dry patches on my lips and i just like rub it into it and like they came out they just and it has that nice little shin. That Ofra liquid lipstick in Miami Feather, I think it's really pretty. I don't wear this kind of color very often. That makes me want to. I think it's something different. And it looks really, really, uh, really good with that eye look. And if I have time after work and if I remember, I'll do a little check-in to show you how my skin looks. All right, I am back from work. And it is now... Uh, quarter to eight so it's been 10 hours now that I'm wearing that makeup and I have to say I am so so satisfied so happy with it uh, except for one thing but you already know because I already told you uh, that concealer does not work for me for my under eye whatever I do if I put less or more like it's just it, I have a feeling it's not working well for dry skin so let me know down below if you are dry, combo, oily, and if you tried this, how did it work for you? Uh, I'll be curious to know. Otherwise, my foundation looks beautiful. Like my cheek area, chin didn't move at all. Moved a tiny bit on my nose. So this is how it looks for 10 hours. I'm really happy with that foundation and I'll use it again and I put only one layer so I'll be curious to see if I want to build in if, if it's getting cakey or not but right now and this is how I will wear it most of the time beautiful beautiful product the concealer well I'm just gonna zoom you in and I'm gonna show you because I, I want to show you the eyes but see like it's just here and the feeling it's also like it it's gone almost so i don't know what's going on here it's get it gets patchy and it makes my under eye look really like i don't know old dry and i put a little bit of it actually on my nose too and this is where 
it's not looking good here so hmm not sure I use that very often maybe for spot concealing that's all my eyes look at that it's still here and maybe at night you can actually see the look a bit better the eyeshadow didn't move at all so it's probably thanks to um, the eyeshadow base from NARS but also well look at that look at this sparkly shade so nice and that was kind of a easy look yes but it's something you know i i was going to work i i felt really good about it so i got so so many compliments and i feel bad because i added last minute i took my photo before for my thumbnail um that ofra liquid lipstick i got so so many compliments today like about my lips for my lips so i'll wear it again very beautiful, like unique shade. I don't have shades like that much in my collection, so perfect. And uh, the blush didn't move and it gives a beautiful glow. A very, very nice formula. So um, they have a beautiful color range. I might buy a little bit more. It's time to remove everything and um, put a nice mask on and watch some Netflix and have a good dinner. I'm just gonna go back in time and back to the conclusion I filmed earlier. And that's it my friends, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what you think about makeup, if you tried any of these new products and what are your thoughts on it. Uh, don't forget to precise what is your skin type and that really helps everyone that wants to read the comments. What would you like to see next? I just got in the mail the new NARS eyeshadow palette, uh, so that might be something coming up soon. Um, but comment down below what you'd like to see next. I hear a lot of Natasha Denona tutorials. Once again, I have the blue purple one and I think I never played one. I know, but I never played with it on YouTube. Let me know if it's something you'd like to see on my channel or if it's something too pricey and you'd rather see maybe the Lila palette or uh, some of the mini uh, Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes as well. Uh, comment down below what you'd like to see. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share with your friends. Don't forget to ring that little bell right here and to subscribe to my channel. You can click on my little photo right here and, and you'll be part of the family. Have a great one and I will see you in the next video.